I'm recording this video on Friday, May 15th, 2020. I mentioned that for a reason because we're we're still in the midst of this pandemic, uh, the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic lockdown, all that kind of stuff. Um, I bring that up in this video because it's relevant. This is a uh, Disney's Atlantis, The Lost Empire, Stormtroopers water tanker, high adventure. It doesn't really make any sense from Mattel, and this came out in the year 2000. Uh, so 20 years ago. I, I mentioned well, the date or whatever because, you know, kind of through this lockdown, my kids obviously uh, learning remotely. I've actually, I, I teach, I've been teaching remotely, so I haven't really had anywhere to physically be for, um, I mean, six weeks now, over, you know, almost, I guess two months. I guess, yeah, it's been about two months. Um, so something that my kids and I have been doing, um, well, my daughter's. Uh, we've been watching Disney films and, you know, we've seen all the classics, obviously, you know, the kind of old classics and kind of the 90s classics. Um, one thing that we started doing is watching some of the lesser uh, kind of second tier Disney films, one of which being Atlantis. Uh, some other ones we watched have been Home on the Range, which if you haven't seen it, I recommend checking out. I actually really liked it. It's also really weird. One of the first lines of the film is like kind of a sex joke. It's really weird. It's it's Roseanne Barr uh, playing a cow. So check out Home on the Range if you haven't seen it. Um, things like Treasure Planet. Um, what's the other one? There, there's, there's some of the weird like 90, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, Chicken Little. You know, so so some of the, I mean, definitely second tier. They're not they're not great films. We watched a good dinosaur the other day. Um, you know, not I don't I didn't think it was that great. It was okay. Um, so I know a little bit about Atlantis: The Lost Empire, and honestly, I kind of started to um, lose interest. I didn't think it was a great film. It was just it was just very okay, right? Um, but. It, you know, has kind of like an anti-imperialist message, which which I dig. That kind of aligns with my politics. Um, and, you know, kind of the undersea world was, was kind of cool, I guess. But one thing that I, I find really interesting is that uh, this, if you listen. Ready for launch. Ready for launch. Water tanker secured. secured. The sounds still work 20 years later. So those are some pretty, pretty solid batteries. Um, I got this, I think, at the Ohio Valley Antique Mall. Um, and I guess it's Fairfield, Ohio. I, I got it for like a couple bucks and, um, kind of a, you know, the, so they have all these vehicles. So they're going on this expedition to find Atlantis and, um, you know, there's some betrayal, like the scientists, archeologists want to check it out. Uh, some people just want to kind of profiteer off it, whatever. Um, so they, you know, they have all these different vehicles and so that, you know, that's kind of cool. They actually made a, a toy line. I mean, there was actually action figures for this, um, but this is sort of like a, uh, I don't know if you call it like a subset, I guess. I don't know. So, anywho, we're going to bust this open. You can see it's already kind of starting to peel. It launches a Zeppelin. Um, I, I will say, I know I just kind of ripped this apart. Um, I think this packaging is really, really good. You know, it, it's the way it's situated kind of on this ramp looks really nice. Um, you know, it, it gives the parts, gives the packaging some heft. And I'm interested if there's anything inside of this sort of base, like a catalog or something. I don't think there is, but we'll we'll find out. It'd be kind of a weird. Uh, oh, yep, I was right. I wonder how many people missed that when they bought this. Like, who would think to rip open the bottom of this? It's really tell really tape that in there. Maybe some a map for some secret treasure. It's probably about how to put new batteries in it. By the way, if you ever need like those little watch batteries for your toys, um, go on eBay. They're really cheap. You can get them for really cheap. Don't buy them at a store. So yeah, how to replace the batteries. So these little these little batteries, if you, uh, I would go on eBay to find those. They have a two-year warranty. So that expired 18 years ago, but that's okay. They still work. That's pretty amazing. So yeah, so this is a truck. Kind of a water tanker, a stormtrooper's water tanker, which is kind of a weird, I mean, that's like, you know, it, it, it's, it's weird in the sense, one, that, that stormtroopers come from like, like the Nazis, the Third Reich, uh, but two, like, obviously, uh, Star Wars <laughs> used that, so I don't know why they didn't think it's any more creative. So, yeah, we have this, 
Um, we have that, and you know, there's some, you know, gas mask laden dudes. I mean, it's kind of kind of creepy a little bit. I don't I don't really see a kid wanting to to play with that, or why would they pick this one? I guess I don't know. So I don't know. It, it's you know. Kind of neat, I guess. Kind of weird. I, you know, I guess. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I would think you'd want, like, some of the main guys. That would make sense. But um, I don't know who would actually pick pick this one. But I don't know. They made it. Um, you know, it was kind of, again, very second tier Disney. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I mean, if you're, if you're still bored, if, if you don't have anything going on... Um, you know, watch some of those second tier Disney films and, you know, you, I wouldn't watch them more than once. I don't think you, you need to, but you know, I don't know. Not, not a whole lot to say about this one. I mean, it, it's, it's, it is what it is. Um, I think the most interesting thing is that the batteries still work 20 years later. So kudos to who, whomever made, made those batteries. It doesn't really say if it's Duracell or, or anything like that. Usually they use like really cheap, crappy batteries. So, um, and a lot of times too, you'll find that the batteries have corroded and really messed up the inside. So, um, thanks for watching. Check out some of those second tier Disney films. If you've seen Atlantis, let me know. I think it's one of those things where if you were a kid when this came out, uh, you, you probably definitely have a different opinion of it, but I think what makes, so, you know, some of the Disney films so, so good and so classic is that, you know, you could watch, uh, for instance, I watched, uh, another one we watched was Moana, and I really liked it. You know, as a, as a 37 year old man, I really liked it. So to me, that just tells you, you know, what a good story, good storytelling, good writing um, can do. Atlantis doesn't hold up so much. Neither do some of those others. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Drink plenty of water. Open your toys. And play with them.